Hey guys, it's me Noah with the CP Gamers, and today I'm going to be comparing 9nub and Greedo from the new Battlefront DLC. So let's get right into it. As you guys probably know, Greedo and 9nub are the two playable heroes that are unlocked when you download the Season Pass to Battlefront, and they have some really awesome abilities. They took characters from the movies that didn't really have too much screen time or a huge role really, and made them into awesome playable characters. So we're going to get started right away with 9nub, who has a standard uh, DH-17 pistol, but it is slightly upgraded. I found that this pistol kills in about a second of automatic fire on a just a regular soldier, and it does pretty good damage against heroes. His first ability is a rapid pulse cannon, and it allows for very nice sniping. We've never really had a good sniper character in Battlefront, so this character is really helpful there. He also has an anti-infantry turret that upgrades depending on how well you're doing in the match. So let's say you drop a turret down and you get a lot of kills with it. Uh, your turret is going to upgrade to an explosive shot turret that actually locks onto enemies faster. So you find that you'll be able to camp and snipe really, really well with this character. So 9nub's third ability is the proximity bomb. Uh, if you're playing on a smaller map, he'll get four proximity bombs, which do the regular amount of damage, which I found almost always kill your enemy if they are not moving too fast. And if you're playing on a larger game mode like Walker Assault, you'll find that his proximity bomb is replaced with an orbital strike. Uh, it's just a regular orbital strike, but this ability is extremely helpful, and once again it helps in his sniping. So moving on to Greedo, we find that he has the DT-12 pistol, which is also upgraded, and I've actually found that it does uh, basically kill your enemies in one shot. A cool feature with Greedo is that he has a confidence level which is based off of his uh, inability to kill Han Solo in the movie and the fact that he's kind of renowned as a more failed bounty hunter in the Star Wars universe. I think this is a really cool addition to his character, it really adds some kind of personality to him. And as you uh, kill more enemies, get more points with Greedo, his confidence actually goes up and increases the power of the grenade that he has. That being said, Greedo's first ability is his grenade. Uh, it starts off as just a regular Deoxys grenade, and then it upgrades to a regular thermal detonator. Greedo's grenade can be upgraded all the way to a thermal imploder, which is probably one of the best weapons in the entire game. Uh, you can see I was using it against heroes in this Heroes vs. Villains game, and it was extremely powerful. Greedo was able to take out, I think, two heroes before he even got damaged too badly. And then his second ability, which is actually extremely helpful, is an upgraded Rodian Vision Pulse Sense because he is a Rodian, and this allows you to see enemies through the wall and stuff, so if you're ever uh, playing Heroes vs. Villains, and you know, you're trying to move around as one cohesive unit, you don't know where to go, the Vision Pulse will help you move throughout the map. And lastly, as we all saw in the trailer, Greedo has the Rapid Shot ability, which allows you to lock onto up to five enemies at once, and basically kill them all. This is an extremely helpful ability, but I have to say it was very difficult to actually get used in the actual gameplay. It is helpful if you're playing Hero Hunt because there's basically just going to be a ton of people chasing after you and they're all going to be at low damage. So of the two characters, I have to say that Greedo definitely takes the win of the Outer Rim DLC. And that's just because of the small maps in the Outer Rim DLC, Greedo is able to get a lot more kills and move around a lot better. Uh, Nine Nub's abilities don't really work too well in small maps. Placing the turret down in a corridor can easily be avoided. And same thing with his proximity bombs. The pulse cannon is basically useless in small maps, but I have to say that given a larger map and a more open space, Nine Nub would definitely take the win. But in the Outer Rim DLC maps, Greedo is definitely the winner. So that basically wraps up the video, guys. Let me know what you think of the new heroes and the DLC. Thanks again for watching, and see you later.